Hello Scorpio and welcome to your August 2021 reading. Summer is flying. All right. So I meditated on your energy and what spirit wanted to talk to you about. The first card that I have is the lovers. So right away the lovers is that uh, first of and foremost it represents a decision of course it can have to do with you know a man and a woman or whatever man man woman woman um, coming together as uh, lovers you know but it's mostly when we are in harmony with our masculine and our feminine side so whether we're a woman or a man we both have these aspects within ourselves, the feminine that rules the invisible, that is active in the invisible, so that allows, perceives, and mm, brings in, let's say. And the masculine that actually takes that information and goes and acts and, and strategize and does out there. So in the lovers, you have this beautiful harmony between, let's say, the, the right and left side of the brain and the pineal gland or our link with the divine here, the angel. Second card, the fool. So this decision is, um, um, you know, infused with faith it's a new beginning it's a yes i'm going for it and i trust and the third card is the pope three major arcanas right there for you scorpios so the pope is how we are actually applying with our discernment our philosophy beliefs um spiritual um intelligence into this world so all right i would say a beautiful decision that is based on faith and spiritual knowledge of your life or your discernment under the lovers i have the knight of sword and the page of wands so that decision is being made right away knight of sword that means like you know what that's my truth and you're expressing it with the Knight of Swords. It's like, no, this is it, this is it, this is it. And with the Page of Wands, you're actually enthusiastic about it. It's a new beginning. It's this um, new one, new passion, new direction, aim. Under it, I have the Ten of Pentacles. It has to do with, um, because the Ten of Pentacles is two things. It's either you you're going to reach a peak or you've reached your peak. But whatever it is, whether it is because you're conscious that you've reached your peak and you're starting a new beginning or that new beginning is actually going to bring you a Ten of Pentacles, it's amazing. Under the Fool, I have the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Swords. So we're talking about this, not just faith, but clarity with... Uh, from a place of emotional fulfillment in a sense i have the clarity of what is my wish fulfill what is uh you know I'm, I'm in that state of happiness and fulfillment and i know exactly what makes me happy and here under that i have the seven of wands the seven of swords and the three of cups so this is telling me that maybe around you because that can be our social network it's our capacity to celebrate life and be happy and rise our emotions with the people around us okay like the shape of our emotions but here with the seven of wands and the seven of swords that can be that you will have to stand your ground against this empowering arguments or beliefs or uh, strategies here and that's why you have to be so clear within yourself and this is either within you or outside of you but know that if you have friends 
or family members that are showing you a seven of swords and a seven of wands that you, you know you have to defend yourself understand that they're just mirroring that truth within yourself okay it's because somewhere you believe the arguments they're pulling or the disempowering belief the moment you're not believing it anymore there is no more resistance outside under the Pope I have the magician and the king of pentacle I'm making my decision I am in my power of what I'm manifesting here and now king of pentacle is responsible for our uh, security for our uh, investment in what I invest in what um, uh, what fruits come out of it uh, and what I engage myself long term and here I have you Scorpio the death card so this of course is because you are transforming you are ending something to uh, pursue invest yourself into something else here let's clarify this for Scorpio I call upon the divine I call upon the light. I call upon the Holy Spirit. Help me clarify this reading for Scorpio. For the month of August 2021. Okay, let's look at the lovers here. Why is the lovers there for Scorpios? Why is the lovers there for Scorpios? Knight of Swords again with the Knight of Pentacle. Ah. Five of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. There's the understanding that you got. I am not going to sacrifice myself, deny myself the fruitfulness of this world, to be happy, to be, um, you know, to enjoy life, this reality. I am bringing forward my Pentacle, and this is my truth. And that truth that reach, reached your heart, that's why you got that enthusiasm of, you know, when we're excited because we know something is coming. I don't know what it is, but it's coming because now I am allowing things to come in. And that's my truth. And here, Queen of Cups, that's uh, an, an intelligence and information information that I got through my intuition, through my waters. And my mind is agreeing with it. Let's look at the fool. And that's why I've got faith now. I've got faith now because temperance. I am emotionally ready to have faith. Because um, there's this, you know, intuition is when we're connected with cosmic intelligence, with the flow of everything, with that kind of um, vibration grid, let's say. And when you're connected to it, there's no more uh, doubt, risk, anything can happen. Um, I'll feel it coming. I'll, I'll follow if it says yes inside, then it's yes, and that's it. No matter what is out there. You're having this leap of faith because uh, you're healed. Four of Swords. These are two healing cards. Healing because I understand how my past disappointments have happened. And healing because now I see the bigger picture. 
when it came to two of cups, when it came to the relationships in my life, whether they, are, they were romantic or, or business or whatever, I now understand if my two of cups, if I was vibrating here, that's what I was receiving. I was sacrificing but not being able to receive. Always feeling that I have to do so much more in order to gain a little bit. If it's in business, I'm not charging enough for what I give. If it's in love, I'm denying my own needs and wants uh, for the sake of the other. For the for how the fear of losing love, of not being lovable enough and so on. My worth. So, Six of Pentacles changes everything now it becomes balance i will fulfill myself and give unconditionally in a balanced way only my overflow loving and giving unconditionally does not mean draining ourselves dry because that's that's not unconditional unconditional is a two-way street that means i don't have to fit conditions in order to receive love I don't have to act that way, look that way, be that way in order to deserve love. It is without conditions. But it has to, I have to first be fulfilled because the universe will pass through me and then go to others unconditionally with the overflow. Look at the Pope now. It's that understanding that makes you ready. For some of you, ready maybe to be in a relationship again. Ready to trust the other again. Oh. Ready to be happy and fulfilled. And to perceive life as something that is a source of emotional fulfillment. Because you're going to act your use your discernment in that frame let's look at the knight of swords and the page of wands here it's like you're ready to be happy ready to be fulfilled yes i can be happy and fulfilled that's the truth you understood now i have the knight of wands and the wheel of fortune that's the truth you understood and of course, uh, as soon as we understand the truth, that's when the wheel of fortune can turn. That's why the Sphinx has a sword in his hand. I understand the riddle. Why were the mirroring mirrors in my life, the two of cups in my life, showing me this? <gasps> it was because it was in me. Now I get it. Now the universe can move you to the next matrix. And you're getting on it and you understand you have this enthusiasm of yes I'm going for it because I understood this it the relationships will not be the same at all because I'm not just understanding it here I'm understanding it with my whole body lovers ten of pentacles this is changing my my reality here yeah, I understand that Ten of Pentacles. So that I'm talking about the past 10 years then, okay? That kingdom that you've created out of your Five of Pentacles brought you Five of Cups. So many sorrows and disappointments and heartaches, okay? But Page of Sword, now I get it. Now I understand that past 10 years, that past cycle of Pentacles, so with that understanding about emotional fulfillment has to pass through me first before it can be married out there for me. That's why that guy is alone, is in his higher self, is happy and fulfilled no matter where he is. That guy could be in jail, he could be in a castle. He feels happy and fulfilled within himself. All of his emotions are um, has been transcended they're over his head here uh he's receiving joy happiness 
fulfillment. Here I have the Emperor. And with that Ace of Sword, it's the clarity on how I'm going to act out there. Seven of Cups, uh, Seven of Pentacles. How I'm going to act, how I'm going to do what my decisions, my things like that, so that I can start having fruits. That in a way, if I wasn't watering my garden with the allowing the water and all of that, all that I was receiving was nothingness. A lot of heartaches, a lot of efforts, but always feeling the lack of not enough. I am not enough. I am not receiving. I'm being abandoned. I'm being rejected. It's because I'm lacking something somewhere. Maybe I'm handicapped compared to others that receive it all. All of that uh, tinted the way you were acting out there. You get it right at the beginning of the month here. So no more disempowering beliefs here where I have to fight against the world. Let's look at that. Seven of Swords. Seven of Wands with the Three of Cups. Lovers. I'm making that decision. Knight of Cups. So now we have the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Cups. I'm following my bliss. I'm following what makes me happy. I'm allowing cups to come in because I'm already fulfilled. So King of Pentacles and the Magician, you're going to manifest and be in a power, in a place of power where you can manifest in your kingdom right away. King of Pentacles. King of Cups. And here it is. We have the Ace of Cup upright. I'm bringing that fulfillment that, you know, bringing you from the 9 to the 10 there, where I'll be able to share that with other people. So that means I transcended my 9 of Wands and my 4 of Cups, where life was just a series of wounds and emotional... Mm, see, that guy is not so happy. I wasn't able to see that cup and I was afraid and protecting myself of what could come. No, I am mastering King of Cups and that's you, Scorpio. I'm mastering uh, my emotion, mastering how you feel, understanding that the sadness came from your Five of Pentacles and you're actually going to act upon it. Death. That's you. And so since I had justice in the bottom of the deck, this is like bringing back balance into your life. And justice, you know, it's Libra that rules the, all the partnerships. Because this was shown in your mirrors in your life a lot, Scorpio. So here, happiness, fun, fulfillment. Happiness, fun, fulfillment. Three of Cups, Tower. So what had to crumble in order to bring justice? Well, maybe it was your Ten of Pentacle, so that you can uh, Empress, allow more into your life. By allowing more, then the way you're going to act out there is going to be completely different. You understand that understanding the balance and when i say the balance it's i say because you know when you look at it you can think well that's not really balanced that guy's rich and there's two poor guys with him what's the balance in that yeah, there should be like three people with an equal wallet but the way the universe how the universe can be balanced is when we are allowing abundance within when we know we're enough and that we can receive with joy and pleasure and that we'll give our overflow. Because if we restrain our capacity to receive because we don't think we're worth enough or that we believe that by sacrificing we're a better person, then what we give 
is out of sacrifice. So there's expectation, even if we don't want to. There's expectation that when I'll need, there'll be somebody here for me because I sacrificed so much. But then when I need, there's no one. I'm abandoned because that's what it means. So it creates sorrows and sadnesses and conflict. And so that's all chaos. That's all disbalance. But when we allow in and give our overflow out of joy and pleasure without counting, you know, these two guys are receiving the monies without thinking they're going to have to give it back with 10% interest next week. They're receiving it for free and with the joy of re receiving from an abundant place, not a sacrifice place. I don't want your sacrifice, but I'll take your overflow if you're giving it with joy and I'll give you the joy of receiving it in exchange, not a, I'll owe you. So there it is. That's what you understood. The true balanced functioning so that the universe can be balanced. The state of understanding and being. Scorpio. So congratulations. One heck of a big lesson learned. And this is going to change your life. Wheel of Fortune. That's going to be the title of your video. On this, I'm sending you all my love and light. Thank you for watching, sharing, commenting. Uh, you're going to have a great month of August. Uh, if uh, Please subscribe if uh, you haven't uh, yet and help grow the channel. If you want a private reading, the description is below. You write to me, I write to you back. If you see a phone number or somebody acting like they're me and giving a phone number on the commentaries, it's not me. So, and on that also, thank you for the ones of you who gave donations. It helps more than you think. And on the full moon, I'm doing a little ceremony to give you back. So on that, my beautiful Scorpios, I'm going to send you all my love and light. And I'll see you next month.